So uh, we're here at the Bowling Green State University. It's their campus fest. And we're gonna wander around, talk to people who see what they actually know and their opinions on what's going on in their country. Uh, so what do you think about universal health care? Um, I don't know. I'm not quite a big fan of it because I feel like there's just going to be a many issues with it and implementing it's going to be really hard, it's going to be challenging, it's going to like upset how things are done now and that's going to be really difficult. But I do kind of like the idea of privatizing things more than more of a universal because like with privatizing it means costs are going to go down and prices will go down hopefully because that's just how businesses work and how the business model works. But the counterbalance to that is then that not everyone has health care. Sure. So, I gotta admit it's a give and take. Yeah. Did you hear about the issue uh, a few weeks ago about uh, government health care for 9-11 uh, rescue workers? Uh, there was a bill in Congress that they tried to get through the House of uh, Representatives. They were going to give a government health care to 9-11 victims and they were going to, how they were going to pay for it was they were going to make it illegal for companies to have offshore drop boxes so they could... It's basically to prevent tax evasion is what it is. And it was voted down by the Republicans in the House of Representatives. Do you have any thoughts on that? Um, I, I can see why they'd vote it down, because uh, business would probably have a issue with that, because they like their ways to escape things. But I can understand why they have the tax, like the, why they have the offshore drop box, like taking it away and stuff. Because I, I get that. As far as like the 9-11, you know, people getting health care. I think it's a good idea. I mean, but it's kind of give and take because, like, how are you gonna, how are you gonna prove, like, all of it and stuff? It's gonna be hard, but. Do you think we should extend the Bush tax cuts? Okay, with, like, economics, I would have to probably say no because in the long run they hurt you, but um, in the short run they're nice, so, I mean, it depends. I mean, the whole idea of taxation is, is kind of an interesting theory. What's your opinion on the situation in the Middle East? We've withdrawn all combat troops from, from Iraq and Afghanistan and we're descaling in places. What are your thoughts on all of that? I think we should probably just get out now because it's costing us more money than we can really afford and we're not really being able to show too many results. Um, the results aren't coming as quickly as they should be, and it's just, we're yeah, losing so many lives. Should be. But do you think that the region is stable enough for us to remove our combat troops? We still have our support troops there to train the forces and whatnot, yeah. but do you think that combat situation-wise, it's stable enough for us to leave? I don't know if it's really ever going to be stable with us there, because of the anti-American feelings that people have, and other stuff like that. Like. I'm thinking more, they need to be able to work to afford it themselves. I mean, we provide them a good basis for that, but I mean, I think we need to get out because they're, it's just it's gonna keep being an issue until we do. Um, anchor babies have come up a lot lately, which is a lot of talk about immigration. What do you think we should do about illegal immigrants? To be honest, I think we need to up, um, increase our quotas because I feel like that would solve a bit of, quite a bit of the issue. I don't, I don't like legal immigration because that, you know, they're there illegally, they're not here legally, they're not paying taxes and stuff, and supporting our economy and system in that sense. They're supporting the economy that they're buying stuff, which is nice. But like, I'm fine with people coming to America. I have no issue with that. It's just more the illegal part. Do you think we should make it easier for immigrants from Mexico to get into our country legally? Yes. Should we do things to? Oh, so we should do things to expedite the process yes. because that would cut down on illegal immigration and it would still supply our workforce and spur yes. our economy and things like that. I, I completely think we should have you know allow more in. I mean, we obviously can't let them all in, but they're not all going to want to come in because it makes. Um, conditions in Mexico are improving, but unfortunately they're in this middle ground right now that um, things are beginning to cost too much for them, that they're not the country of choice that companies go to to, you know, have decreased labor costs and stuff. Now they're going more to Africa instead of Mexico like we always were before.
But Mexico has the, is part of the NAFTA trade agreement, so there there's cost reductions there too. So. What do you think about environmental issues these days? We've got the oil spill in the Gulf. We've got your standard global warming concerns. Do you think the government is effectively handling these things? Should the government be taking care of all of these things? And where should we go from here? Okay. Um, well, I did take an environmental class last semester, but um, I'm thinking what I believe is that the government should do more towards uh, re implementing renewable resources. I mean, Germany started implementing their renewable programs in the 1970s, and it's taken them 30 years for it to be as strong as it is today. It's going to take a long time for things to change and get ready, so we have to do it as soon as possible so we can get the changes that we need. We need to go towards renewable resources because oil will eventually run out. We are past peak production. It has been proven. Do you know anything about the rally Glenn Beck had last Saturday? I do not know anything about it. That makes two of us. Um, <laughs> what do you think of uh, specifically Glenn Beck's allegations that President Obama is a racist and is prejudiced against white Americans? I really have no opinion on that. I don't know enough of the situation to be able to answer that. Um, on, the, on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being poor, 10 being outstanding, how would you rate uh, President Obama so far in what he's done? I'd give him, I'd probably give him like a six. I mean, he's he's doing something, but he's not, it's not just enough, but it takes time because of our legislative process, so I understand. So, I mean, I understand that it'll take time. Um, if you were a hot dog, would you eat yourself? No, I would not. That'd be kind of hard. Uh, and finally, what is the most useful invention, the pocket or the sandwich? Okay. In case you were wondering, when the screen's black, that means the lens cap is on. You get to take it off, or we get to refilm things. <laughs> well, we're just trying to get people's opinions, see what they know, and we figured college Republicans and the college Democrats would both be good places to go. Um, so first off, what are your opinions on uh, national health care these days? Should we have it? Health care. I believe everyone should have health care, but I don't think the government should spend money. Should provide it for us. Uh, do, you, do you think that the uh, private sector can adequately provide health care to everyone? Yeah, I do think so. Uh, and do you think they can make it affordable too, oh, because yeah. that's important. Oh, yeah. um, did you hear about on the news a few weeks ago, the, uh, the issue about the government providing health care to 9-11 rescue workers? Uh, have you heard anything about that? Uh, basically, it was a bill proposed by the Democrats in Congress that would provide government health care for people who were 9-11 rescue workers and have most importantly lost their jobs because of health complications from them. The plan to pay for it was to make it illegal for major corporations to have offshore bank accounts to avoid paying taxes on profits being deposited in them. Uh, the Republicans voted it down, but the reason it lost was because the Democrats employed a special two-thirds majority measure so that the Senate couldn't modify the bill. What are your thoughts on all that? I really have, I really have no opinion on it. I, I really don't have any information about it. Okay. So I really can't comment on it. Um, do you think, though, that the government should provide health care for people that lose their jobs in national crises? National crises. I don't know, what do you think about that? Sir? What do you think about that? I can tell you what, guys, we're trying to recruit right now, so if you want to get us after this, you know, we can help you out then, but yeah. right now we're just trying to recruit people and you're kind of in our way. Oh, so okay. Yeah, yeah, we can do no that. Problem. No problem. We have to answer your questions, it's just we're trying to recruit right now. That's fine. Thanks anyway. Were they actually trying to recruit, or was that question evasion? I don't know. I don't know. That could have been question evasion. It um, sounded like because there was nobody else there. But yeah. you know, I'm not going to assume right. things. I'm not going to say that they didn't want to answer our questions. They were perfectly cooperative in the first place. Yeah. But uh, at that point, I just yeah. Uh, maybe we're just bad at interviewing. If we throw the slow pitches at first, right. and you know, we well, yeah. let him hit a few easy ones and, uh, before we get into specifics. Right. Part of me wants to get on Glenn Beck's TV show, and there's a good reason for it. I mm -hmm. want to ask him if he's a comedian. I have to know. Because it's an interesting theory. I, I, I think it has. I think he has to be the greatest satirist the world has ever known. All right. Okay, so we've been walking around for like 15 minutes now, and um, the college Republicans told us to go away after two questions, and we can't find the college Democrats anywhere. Um, I'm concerned the Republicans warned them about us, but that doesn't really make a lot of sense. I think we've got like, what, six tables left to look at? If we can't find them, uh, we'll go talk to the guy in the tree, I guess. All right.